How's it going, Chip Drive? It's me, Chips. Back! Really another episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. In the last episode, we, uh, a lot, a lot went down in the last episode. We got lost for a little bit in the beginning because I, uh, didn't talk to people and I was being dumb. But we eventually figured out, uh, where to go. We, uh, it was a whole, you know what? I'm not going to explain everything. It was crazy. We fought a golem. The queen was evil. We're, uh, in the future now. We got a, uh, Marl's pendant is magical. There you go. Uh, and now we got to go back to, um, down there, down on that little island. I for kind of forget how we get there, but before anything else, I promised that we would race our boy once again. It's been too long. There he is. There he is. I'll let you use the jet bike because that's the kind of guy I am. Don't sweat it. And don't you dare chicken out, babe. Oh, yeah. Let's do... How do I... Yes. Let's go. We're back. We are back. How do I boost? Oh, B. Right. Yeah. I kind of... I think the strat is just boost at the end because he'll always catch up. <laughs> Johnny. Yeah. Oh, you gotta stay in front of him. Alright, when's the opportune moment to boost? Uh, no! No! Yeah! <laughs> oh my god, that was so close. Oh yeah, alright. Alright! You beat me! I don't get it! Well, you can come challenge me again anytime! We'll ride the wind, babe! Heck yeah. It was all worth it, guys. It was all worth it. Alright, now how do we get over there? Uh. Abandoned sewers? I think so. I think this is right. I remember I got real lost in here. Oh, these guys. Oh, the fire breathing Zora's down there. Heh <laughs> They're eating up attacks? Alright. Did we- I don't think we even had magic the first time we came here. <laughs> and these guys- Oh! Oh! Before I, uh... Before I forget again, um... You guys were like, yo! Uh, use those capsules! Cause I have picked up a bunch and never used them. So, where are they? We got a strength capsule. Well, it's gotta go to my boy Frog. I mean, come on. He's the best. Uh, magic capsules. Now, you did say I should probably use them on Chrono. And we do use magic with him a lot. A lot more than we do with Frog. So, I will give him some magic, I suppose. Uh, whoa! Okay, I didn't know we had some lapis. Also, should have healed when we were on the overworld, but that's fine. Let's get uh, some slurps in here. It's not the most effective way of healing, but it's better than nothing. All right, there we go. Oh, I that bridge is not there. Okay, I got to remember how to go through here. Yes, okay, I got it, I got it. We sneak through... Nope, we don't sneak through there. We go around here. And then... Oh, we... okay, we gotta do this again. Alright, alright, alright. No eggs, okay. Okay, I remember... Oh, I think this might just be the way. Yes, it's this thing right here. This building. The Keeper's Dome. Oh, one of these. I remember seeing this guy and I was like, what? A uh, strange contra construct. The final instruction sequence of wise of the wise one programmed into me was for his burial. Now I can join him in his eternal rest. But first, hmm, I'm certain there was one more task I was ordered to complete. Something about the seats. 
Memory error. I forget. That dude a robot? Okay, I don't know what the deal was there. Oh. The dude here is gone. Is he dead? Was he the dude this guy was talking about? Oh, no. Well. We open the door. Huh? Who was that? What are these? You have opened the door! I am Balthazar, the guru of reason, and formerly of the kingdom of Zeal. I was cast into this era by a great disaster which befell our land. Much to my surprise, I have learned that the creature Lavos was not a product of our age. Far from it. It seems that the being fell from the sky in a bygone age, burrowing deep into the planet's core. There, he began to feed upon its energy, growing even stronger. Yeah, we knew that. So, Balthazar, you guys were telling me when we met uh, Melchior, 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 I think is how you say it. Uh, he was named after one of the wise men, and then we later learned that he is actually one of the gurus, and Balthazar is also one of the wise men. So, I guess the three gurus are named after the wise men. Nice. Lavos' form uh, was revealed briefly when he was summoned forth by a mighty wizard by the name of Magus in the year 600. We were there for that, I think. In the year 1999, Lavos emerged to claim the surface. Now, he has taken the place I've... Uh, he has taken the place I've named Death Peak as his throne, or nest, as it may well be. His miniature spawn now flow from the mountaintop, an avalanche of death. Lavos is a parasite. A parasite of gargantuan proportions whose host is the planet itself. Yo, so we went to Death Peak for a second, and then we got kicked out because there was like strong winds and stuff. Trapped here, I endeavor to continue my study and observation of Lavos, but I believe the end draws near. Maintaining one's sanity is an endeavor in and of itself in an age such as this. An endeavor I fear may be futile. So before my mind is lost forever, I have decided to leave these records of my knowledge behind, along with my greatest invention. Is this the invention? Uh, ever did I long to return home and toil endlessly in search of a way. But as I neared the completion of my research, so did I near the end of my days. I have grown old and frail, and so I leave it in your hands, you who have opened the way. Take hold the reins of time, and let all the people of this planet's past and future join us one, then, and only then, you just may be able to stop Lavos. Yo, we did that. Frog is from the... the you know, like medieval time. Luca and Marl from the present. I'm from the present. Robo's from the future. Ayla, ancient past. Look at this. It all comes together. <laughs> but you have little chance of success. Oh, you have a little chance of success. But even a little chance is still a chance. You who have opened the door. The fate of the world is in your hands. Open now the final door and claim what awaits you. My last and greatest work. The Wings of Time. That sounds sick. Pendant began to glow. A spaceship? No. How do I get in? How do I get in the ship? From the back? Oh, 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 oh. This must be Balthazar's invention. This must be, or this must be it. The wings of time. How do I get in? How do I get in the wings of time? Get me in the front? How do I get in the ship? Uh. Okay. How do I do it? What? I can't... What? How do I get in the... Oh! Oh! Seats! 
He's putting seats in the thing! Scared you, didn't I? It's me, Balthazar. I copied my memory into this thing. What do you think? Precious, isn't he? Anyway, there is something I need to explain. Namely, how to transcend time. Press the Y button to display the time gauge. Then, use the L button and R button to select an era. Ha, yes! Oh, 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 oh. Before you go, why don't you give a name to my time machine? Epoch? Epoch? Alright, we'll go with that. I've been going with the... The classic names. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. That's the start button. Alright. Well then, hop aboard! Again, how do I hop aboard? Do I talk to him? Instructions for the... Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An R button... Plus control panel, set time. A button, board disembark or activate time warp. End of message. Oh, okay. Oh, the seats like rise up into the thing. Got it. All right. Let's go. Yo. So we've been to. Yeah, end of time. Cataclysm. We don't want that, I don't think. Present. Middle Age. Prehistoric. Okay. Where are we supposed to go? Back to the Kingdom of Zeal? I'm assuming? <laughs> he looks so... He looks as excited as I did. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Frog is not okay. What is this? Interdimensional travel at warp speed. The Epoch is capable of this? Okay. Can I fly this thing around? No. Okay. So we're, we're still here. So do we just go back to the thing and be like, yo, guess what, princess? We're back. Or queen. Because they threw us out. I guess that's the plan. Because I don't... There's nothing... Oh. Do we go back to the seal? Or the building up top? I don't know. Okay, that thing's still locked. Huh. Is there something to do here? Oh, the stairs are down. Okay. Oh, it's the Earthbound. This is a legacy. A le I'll get it. I'll get it. There we go. Uh, the village of the Earthbound. We Earthbound ones were banished from Zeal because we were are possessed of no magical talents. We are possessed of no magical talents. Got it. Many inhabitants of this land were taken to build the Ocean Palace, and none were ever seen again. That is terrible. Might I interest you in some goods? Uh, sure. Yo, that is a lot better. Uh, yes. Uh, ho, ho, ho. Yes. Yes. Do I not? Oh, that is expensive. Oh, these are all expensive. Okay, okay, well, well, we gotta equip. You get that. Frog always has the Masamune. The Mega Blaster, okay. And then Ayla doesn't get any weapons, so we can sell probably 
Like that, I'm never gonna use again. The iron sword, I'm not gonna use. Ooh, that is better. Silver sword, I'm not gonna use. We have two silver swords. Bandit's bow, I'm not gonna use. Plasma gun, I'm not gonna use. Um. So now I have enough. Which one do I want? This. Equip Robo with. Yes. All right. This guy was freaking good. These they have the goods here. All right. Alright, the Queen has installed the memo machine in the Ocean Palace in an attempt to absorb Lavos's energy. But is there no peril is there no peril in such a thing? The Guru of Life said as much, but it will only uh, it only led her to imprison him upon the Mountain of Woe. I fear there is little we can do. Mountain of Woe, okay, that's where we gotta go. The Guru of Life said that young Jen uh a young Lord Janus possessed power within him exceeding even that of Lady Shala. But then the Queen lost her mind, and the young Lord grew to hate that power and all of the suffering it caused Lady Shala. Now he hides it, denies it, and shuts it from his thoughts. How do these guys know all about, like, the inner workings of the royal family? I don't know, maybe they're just very public about it? When will Lady Shala come and play with a- oh- Oh, okay, is that gonna... Man, will Lady Shwala come and play with us some again? The three gurus and Lady Shwala are near the only ones uh, who do not treat us as inferior. Oh, okay, so the gurus and Lady Shwala, they're nice. Yeah, I keep... I've been playing uh, some Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh, I keep wanting to call her Sharla, but that is not her name. The mud beast den is dangerous. Uh, you shouldn't play around the den. Well, I have a feeling we're gonna go to that den. This, uh, oh no, we're all set. In times past, and in, uh, the enlightened ones and we earthbound ones lived as one. Yeah, I was there. There were reptiles. It was crazy. This tunnel connects to the mud beast den, and beyond that, and uh, beyond the mouth of the den lies the great chain that anchors the mountain of woe to the earth. What? The Guru of Life uh, voiced uh, uh, the Guru of Life voiced opposition to the Queen's plan, and so he was banished to the Mountain of Woe. All right. Well, let's uh, let's save that game. Oh, oh, that's the bestiary. You can uh, you know, it never hurts to save that game. Let's do it. All right, Mud Beast. I'm guessing. Boss fight. Yeah. Oh. This doesn't seem like a boss. Yo, it's purple? Okay, not bad. A crit? Oh, I thought it was gonna die. Okay. I don't like how they're slowly... Oh, I don't like how much damage they do. Okay, let's try a lightning too. Let's just lay in on these guys. Oh, their attack increased? Well, that's not good. Oh, I didn't want to attack with her? Okay, well, it worked out. They, those guys do some damage. Chrono learned raise. What is raise? Oh, is that uh, revive, I think? That's pretty good. Show me a secret. No? Just a dead end? Okay. Okay. We got more of them. So, I'm not gonna lightning to them, because they already did a lot of damage as it is. And then, fire. Oh, their attack increased anyway. So it wasn't the lightning that did it. Oh! Oh my god. Is it just every time you attack them? There's a lot of help. Okay. 
These guys are tough. Let's go for that attack. Crit, yes. Yes. Come on. Oh, he's charged. Oh. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to attack. Okay. It's, it still worked. Oh, got a level, my boy! My boy! Okay. I'm gonna use, uh... I don't need potions. I want Tex. Slurp. You're gonna slurp the heck out of Chrono. That sounds terrible. <laughs> I regret that. Okay. Oh, that's not a door. Oh! You're not getting through here! Yo, Mud Imp? Uh, I think you mean Fiend. Okay, I don't know what the different colors mean. Whoa. Okay, not bad. I'm gonna guess, is the blue one weak to fire? Is it like ice? Oh, I think so. So I'm gonna lighten to everyone and then I'm guessing then the red is weak to water? That's what I'm uh, inferring. Or maybe uh, Marl is, or not Marl, Luca is just that big of a buster. And it's not actually like extra effective. Oh, no, that did a lot, so. Oh, he's riding it! These guys, oh my god. Okay, okay. I am going to fire, no! No! Okay, please take him out, Chrono. He only has 4 MP. We gotta do some healing after this. Come on. Oh my god. Ooh. I think Chrono's... Oh no, he's alive. Alright. Come on. I can't lightning. Okay, I'm going to high potion frog. Frog is going to heal everyone. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna fire you. Come on. How much health do these guys have? I need to ether chrono. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, yeah, item. Mid ether chrono. Oh, frog is. Oh, he's not down, he's asleep. Okay, well that's not good, because he's our healer at the moment. Go down, you freaking mud beasts. Sheesh. Okay. I think I was right about the boss fight. <laughs> These guys are the boss. Chrono's dead, that's not good. Did he just attack his own thing? Okay. I'm gonna heal everyone. Oh, he missed, thank god. And then I'm gonna use Luca to bring Chrono back. I probably should have waited to heal until Chrono was back, but... Oh! Never mind. We are high potioning. Come on, not tech. Where's my Athenian waters? Athenian water, I only have one. That's not good. I gotta go back to that dude at the store. Okay. Not high ether. No, no, no. High potion. There we go. Lightning two. Heal everyone. 
Oh man. Okay, okay. God, this is intense. How much health do these guys have? Should I be focusing down the mud imp? I don't know. Okay. Stop! Fire. Lightning. We gotta be getting close. So is it every time we attack them, he jumps on them and does that? Oh, I didn't want to attack. Okay, maybe I do want to attack the imp. I don't know. I think that's what happens. Every time we attack, he gets on one and attacks us back. I attack the stupid imp. I meant to attack the... I didn't even do that much. God. All right, I'm gonna use one of those Lapis. Um, on Chrono's turn. Oh, we only have one Lapis. Okay. There we go. These guys have to be almost done. They have to be. Especially this blue guy. Luke has been laying into him. He's not even dead yet. Oh my god. Yeah. He was crying. I'm gonna take that as a good sign. Heal everyone. This is intense. This episode is gonna be too long just because of these guys. God. Oh! Chrono's dead! They just attack so much. Oh, I don't have any more Athenian waters. Yikes. Just kill one. Just kill one. Just do it. Yes! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Not heal. Maybe I should have healed, but I think I should have. Alright, I'll win Luca, I'll use a potion. Not tech. Mid potion on frog. And frog water. Okay. I think we got this. I think we got this. I have faith. Hmm. Do we have any red needle? Pales the enemy with a fiery... No, we don't want that. We want water. And we want a mid potion on Luca. Even though I think Frog is going to be doing most of the damage here. Okay. God, stop. Water. What else can Luca do? Puts all enemies to sleep? Let's try it. Oh! It worked? Did he just wake it up? No, he didn't. Oh, he attacked it to wake it up. That might be a good strat. If I keep putting it to sleep and then he keeps attacking it to wake it up? Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Stop healing! Let's put him to sleep. Yes. Does that immediately trigger a heal, though? Because that might not be good. Okay. Yes. 
Let's try it again. And let's immediately get a water on that guy. Yeah, it immediately triggers a heal. Which is not ideal, but... Oh, we gotta use an ether. Oh, he's gone! Okay. Oh my god. Bro, get in there. Let's fire. Alright, stop. Is he just gonna keep healing himself every time I attack? Okay, a crit? He is. What the heck? So if I don't do more than 150, I'm losing ground. I did less than 150. How the heck do I do this? Alright, I'm gonna... Using ether. Whatever, high ether. Probably shouldn't have done that. Um... Can I put you to sleep? Oh, I should have healed Frog. That just heals him. Uh, let's use a mid potion. Did not realize Frog was almost dead. And what do I... What am I supposed to do here? Escaped? I do not care. I am okay with that. Get out of here, my dude. Sheesh. Oh, the chain. Okay, you know what? Was well, this gonna bring us to the overworld, please? Yes. No, 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 no! Okay, I wanted to be able to... Okay. We'll just use some items and stuff. But... Ooh, I'm gonna do that off screen. I'm gonna end off this episode right here. That was an intense, intense battle. I feel like there was something I was missing there, but it's fine. We we did it. We made it past. But if you guys did enjoy this episode, as always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Tune in next time where we're the Mountain of Woe, I think it's called. This is freaking crazy. But I'll see you guys then. But until then, don't forget to take it easy.